So finally Pixel Experience Plus Edition Stable Builds are rolling out for all the official support devices although I have installed the unofficial version but it is officially available for many devices if your device didn't got the official update yet and if it is officially supported you will get the update very very soon. The version the latest version which I am talking about in this video is with general security patch. I mentioned 3 or 4 days ago about Pixel Experience it is not getting the December security patch a lot of customers actually skipped that December security patch because of some issues and now they are back with the January security patch. So the first update from 2023 Pixel Experience is here. Some of the changes or some of the things which are included in Pixel Experience I'll talk about some of the things. First of all is face unlock. Face unlock is now present in Pixel Experience plus edition custom room. If you need face unlock if you're one of the users who use face unlock on their devices it's here. You can use this thing if you want to. Although app lock which was not available previously is not available for now too because pixel experience is not having that feature at all one more thing is if you take a look at if you move on to the app section you will not be able to find the gaming dashboard it's available in this moving on to google then you will see this game dashboard I found this option was enabled some time ago but it was not actually perfectly enabled in any other custom room as far as I know. After using Pixel Experience I found this feature finally here so this is something different that is why I have shared with you. Another thing is if we move on to some gestures option as it is a Pixel Experience all the Pixel gestures are also included for example you can see quick tap to quick tap to start actions which is working fine here we have some extra options and it includes advanced restart option which you definitely need it's already here swipe to screenshot should be included and it's absolutely present and no doubts about that and some gestures options are already present which were expected too in battery stats like in some customs i found that you have the option for battery usage from the last full charge to see that or for or from 24 hours but this room is having both of the things if you want to take a look at the battery use from the past 24 hours you can use that option if you want to take a look at the battery uses from the last full charge you can see that too both of these options are here you can use any one of that this is a good thing too and for me i think so this is a better option compared to some other ones vibration and haptics is also having the same feature like evolution xos and some of the custom homes you can simply change the intensity of your vibration like for example you can see touch feedback i have changed the intensity to zero approximately zero sometimes i use high sometimes i use medium you only have the option to turn off or turn on in previous in previous cases but with this update it's very good one more thing which I found here after installing Arrow OS previously, I found the media player is now changed in Android 13. Of course, I had used Android 13 a long time ago, but the media player, the new media player styles are introduced and this actually looks good. This squiggle animation is looking quite impressive. And yes, Google is already improving this thing a lot more times. I found this thing. This is this was quite expected and they will change this uh, with Android 14 too. Let's see what they will do including all these things which i just shared with you these were things which are actually included in pixel experience although it is not a customization based custom room so we're not going to talk about the customizations which are included but the useful features are already present like for example in buttons we have some status bar customizations which were expected status bar also has this quick pull down feature which i actually don't use but it's already present it also includes some status bar icons options some of the icons if you want to enable it on your status bar if you don't want to enable this both of these options are present network traffic monitor is also there if some of the users were definitely looking for this feature it's already present although i sometimes don't use this thing because it's better to use a third party app for that to keep tracking all these things but if you don't want to use a third party app then the option is already available for you by default you can use that thing privacy also has the option for show clipboard access which is a very useful thing which was present with android 13 previous builds too um, that, but that's good too wallpapers and styles and etc etc some things are just basically same as i just mentioned the starting of the video if this is officially available for your device link is available in the description although you can check out the unofficial versions too this is all thanks for watching and i hope you like this i will see you in the next one goodbye